Hello, I'm Liz Sorab and this is By The Farm and today I've got a wind problem. So I'm out here at the back of the duckling pen uh, which is really very exposed. There's no uh, hedges in front of me, uh, they haven't grown that tall yet uh, and the wind uh, comes across here. Uh, mighty blowy in the winter um, and any animals living uh, in here well they get a pretty tough time of it so what I'm trying to do is fix uh, something along the back of this now I have uh, I've tried putting things upright along here and I actually can't screw in to this metal frame uh, very well. Uh, I've managed it once uh, but didn't manage it much more than that. Um, so uh, plan B uh, is to uh, to put something along at a low level for now uh, and then to use some more of the debris netting uh, or windbreak netting uh, a bit higher up which will hopefully reduce the wind a little bit and then Mr J and I can come back out uh, at a later date. Uh, and maybe fix something a bit higher up uh, and preferably uh, all the way over this end panel uh, to reduce the wind uh, that's ripping through there. Now what I do know uh, is that I can't put anything solid uh, because the wind is so strong it will hit that and it will rip the whole thing uh, off the ground uh, so it's got to be something slatted that will allow uh, some of the wind to go through. So I've got some pallet wood uh, down here I've got one very long one, uh, one shorter one, and I now need to find a way of kind of securing them onto this frame uh, so they'll stay where I want them to be. Uh, well, that's stage two. Um, so stage one was bringing them over. Uh, I wasn't going to show you that because that was uh, more inelegant than it was polite. But I am at the stage of fixing the first one on, uh, which I'm very happy about. Up to now, uh, I've had these corrugated iron uh, pieces just propped up against here. Uh, it's not good enough. Uh, when the wind blows in the right direction, it knocks them over. So I'm going to do something else with these. Uh, so let's move this out of the way. And so my hope is to uh, uh, fix this onto this metal piece uh, using cable ties because uh, it's a temporary thing and uh, it allows Mr J to come out um, and do some fine adjustments if he needs to or completely redo it uh, if this doesn't work. I'm going to thread a couple of these through and then go around to the inside um, and pull them through a bit more and thread them back in this direction. This is one of those tasks where having a second person with you is a really good idea. Uh, but I, I really just wanted to try and get this done. Um, I have a bit of a thing about at least giving it a go myself, uh, even if I'm not successful. So I've got all three of them uh, now sticking through on this side but it's very obvious that one cable tie won't be long enough uh, so it's two cable ties together I'm really pleased that feels really quite solid. Uh, I can see that the bottom sticks out a little more than the top uh, so I will try pushing it but, but where the joints are for the uh, for the, the metal frame it is slightly wider at the bottom but I don't think it's that much wide so I think I might need to do a bit of uh, here's my size 9 boots and um, a bit of brute force. I think you can see uh, this comes out more at the bottom that could be a uh, sheer volume of uh, grass and uh, chicken wire and debris but that's about as tight uh, as they will go without the plastic 
of the cable tie stretching. But I'm happy with that, that works. So the next bit that I want to think about is how these two will join together. Now I'm pretty sure I'm going to want this one behind that one, uh, just because of uh, the, way they, the way they sit. Um, so I'm going to slide this along and then I'm going to slide it behind that one and then I can uh, put some screws through from front to back to secure them together. This is feeling quite good. works I'm really pleased now it might be that I can actually find a way of cable tying these two posts together as well uh, but I probably won't need to if I can get some screws in here uh, the fact that these screws are the right length uh, it's more coincidence than design And the final part of this stage uh, is to fix this end uh, onto this post and I'm going to have to use cable ties again and it does stick out at this end because I might want to attach uh, something uh, along the side here and having this gives me something to butt it against and fix it to. I'm really pleased this was just such a simple job and I thought I thought this was going to be horribly complicated um, I think when it comes to doing anything higher up, it will get complicated. Uh, but this is a simple one. I like that. I like that it's simple. So again, I'm going to thread the cable ties through. Uh, and I'm actually going to go inside and do this one first because I think this is going to be quite complicated because I'm not going around. I'm going sort of at a diagonal. Now I thought there might be a problem with uh, this slipping off the ends, but now it's tight. Uh, that feels really secure. So I'll pop in another one lower down. And I can't tell you how smiley I feel about this. Uh, it's really nice to, to feel I'm starting to get this done. I'm gonna get some more windbreak fabric on higher up. I know it's not pretty, um, but I really want to give the birds in here uh, some protection. Now obviously today uh, there are no birds living in it. But I do plan uh, for there to be birds in here before very long uh, because I'm feeling like I need to separate the turkeys out um, because they're being a real nuisance in terms of constantly uh, just going wherever they want. So I think for the last few weeks of autumn uh, and early winter uh, I'll have them in here. There's plenty of grass in here there is enough space for them they won't have the same freedom to roam uh, but uh, they'll be able to roost up high they'll have some shelter they'll have their own food I think they'll be all right there are masses of leaves falling here um, and I don't really want to waste them so I think I'll be bringing <laughs> some more pallets out here uh, making another uh, box for leaf mould out here. This is looking pretty good. And the other thing I'd like to do uh, is get the inside sorted out because no one's been living here and since spring uh, the door's been open since then, the grass has grown so it doesn't open and close terribly easily. There are some whopping thistles that have grown in there, so I want to get those out. Um, and also, there are two redundant houses in here. Uh, and I say they're redundant because actually, uh, the trays inside them that hold the bedding uh, are metal, 
and the metal has rusted through so there are big holes in them which makes them pretty useless uh, as housing so they need to come out and be disposed of or uh, I may be able to create uh, a new base for them somehow uh, and then we can reuse them well I've got one of the little houses out uh, and I've just moved a container of <laughs> muddy water out and covered myself in it so I'm now heading inside to wash muddy uh, duck poop water off me and I think that's it for me today I think uh, the rest of the day I'm going to spend doing bits and pieces inside and so wherever you are in the world and whatever you've got planned for today I hope it's a good one and I also hope you'll join me again tomorrow.